Isla Wolf, let us know why you hate the bent over row. Well, there are a few things. It's not that I hate it. It's there are simply better exercises. Specifically, the bent over row, depending on how you do it, has a few issues. First, if you do it dead stop, that is to say you put the weight all the way down at the bottom, you're missing out on a very important part of the range of motion, the stretch. Based on a lot of the research I'm involved with on long muscle length training being beneficial for hypertrophy, the one thing we don't want to do in an exercise, in all likelihood, there's other things too, but is to avoid that stretch position. By putting the weight down, all of a sudden, you're not getting that full stretch. You don't have to control the weight in that position anymore. So that is one issue. The second issue is you're bent over. Those postural muscles, the glutes, adductors, hamstrings, lower back muscles, they're being fatigued. And if nothing else, it increases fatigue generated by the movement. It reduces the likelihood of the actual torque of muscle being the limiting factor, that is to say the upper back musculature, potentially your rear delts and so forth. And so that's the second limitation. And finally, the exercise is inherently most difficult in the shortened position. This is a limitation of many back exercises. Unless you have access to prime machines, which fortunately this gym does, most back exercises are hardest in the shortened position. Pull-ups, hardest when you get to the top. Pull-downs, hardest when you get that peak squeeze at the bottom. Most people can't touch the bar to their chest anymore. Bent over rows, the same issue. It's hardest to get the bar to touch your belly. And so as far as resistance curve goes, both on the lengthened end, when you do a dead stop row, not ideal, and on the shortened end, it's most difficult. So it's kind of just the worst of both worlds, as far as that goes. So instead, let me show you a better exercise that is going to produce more hypertrophy on average 